you're lucky enough to cross the sea of darkness and collect your fourth key, you get a free life. Without a free life, there's no margin of error and it gets harder. The next half of the game takes place inside Arcade's brain. <laughs> Urban scenario, lots of concrete and steel, ugly and mean. Screamer comes even faster here. What aren't you telling us? All right. All I can tell you is that it involves a donor. All right? Look, he was brain dead already, so it's not like, you know, anything unethical happened. We, you know, we only used a few hundred thousand brain cells. It's not a big deal. No, that's just it. It's alive there. It's the one changing the rules. Well, it was supposed to be the ultimate challenge, you know? People driving themselves crazy trying to beat it, sitting in front of their television for days, frying their brains. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? <laughs> Keep them glued to the tube. Listen, you want my best advice? Don't play this game. Stay clear of it, period. I'd like to, but I'm afraid that's not an option anymore. Alex, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Wait a minute. What do you mean? I mean, I've heard enough. Thanks. Alex, let's go. Wait, wait. You gonna play the game again? Here, you might as well take the schematics. Just remember. It's only a program. It's not really alive. If things get too intense, you can always push the escape button and you're out of the game. What if the escape button doesn't work? Come on, Nick. Let's go. Well, then we got ourselves a pretty big glitch, don't we? Where do you want to play the game, Nick? Nick. Um, I was thinking about that. And I don't know. Maybe we just shouldn't play the game at all. Just keep on driving. I wish we could. Arcade's a virus, so it seems to me the place to hit it is where the virus started. You know, like the point of origin. Dan? 
I don't get it. It wants us to play. It's been taunting us. You have to put in money. Alex, you don't need to put money in. This game can run on its own. Yes, you do. Don't you see? That's what it wants. We have to play by its rules. players, Nick. Alex, you're not coming. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Alex, I'm good at these games. I play them all the time. You never play. You just get nailed in an instant. And what am I supposed to do if something happens to you? Go in by myself? No. If you're smart, you'll just run like hell. Nick, I've already lost my mother. My father doesn't care if I live or die. If I lose Greg too, I have nothing. I'm going. Get it, do you? What? <sighs> I don't want anything to happen. I care about you, Alex. It's tough being a hero, isn't it? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Watch out for the screamer and the spikes. See if your schematics tell us anything about where the first key is located. Okay. There. That corridor. I think it leads to the second level. Now remember, once we got all the keys, we can unlock Arcade's heart and find his soul. And Alex, no matter what happens, don't worry about me. Keep moving forward. We're all getting out, Nick. Then let's go. First key, Nick. 